This section is an overview on what a whole year looks like in the vineyard. We'll go through each season and walk through the tasks of running a premium vineyard because great wine is made in the vineyard. And that really is the truth. As we say in the cellar, it takes great fruit to make a great wine. You can't make great wine from bad fruit. Fruit is the base of your wine, so as you can imagine, the best growers spend the whole year giving the vineyard a lot of attention. Some might say we obsess over it. Here's a side note about grapevines. The best way to think about growing vines for grape production is thus, stress. The grape grower wants to stress out his vines, but keep it balanced. Now stay with me here because I'm going to get a little bit anthropomorphic. When grapevines are stressed, they think to themselves, hey, life is tough here. I should put all my energy into my progeny, my grapes, and make them as desirable as possible so that my genetic material can be carried elsewhere by birds and beasts. That is how you want your grapevines to think. You want to stress them out slightly, but also keep them healthy enough to continue producing fruit for decades. Vintners have even been studying different ways to trick vines into thinking they're stressed with multiple methods. Lots and lots of thought has gone into this. Speaking of vines, let me take a moment to go over the anatomy of a grapevine. First, we've got the root system. The plant picks up water and nutrients from the soil at the root system. The graft union is where the vine is grafted onto a rootstock that's appropriate for soil conditions or fauna. So basically, you can have any vine you want and put it on certain root systems that are better for particular soils or for particular diseases or bugs that might exist in that soil. The trunk is the trunk. It brings nutrients and water to the plant from the ground. Up from the trunk, you have the cordon. And this is basically like a trunk turned sideways. Think of the cordon as the arms of the vine. The cordon is the part of the vine that new growth springs from. Spurs are old canes that provide a base for new shoots. And we'll get into the difference between spur pruning and cane pruning a little bit later. Uh, but a spur is just a shortened cut cane from last year. Here's a picture from obviously a different season. And this is right after leaves have fallen off from fall. You have the shoots that have grown up for one year. They've become dead and woody. And they are now called canes instead of shoots. Here's a picture of some canes up close. Canes have buds on them. Live buds can form into a root system or put out a new shoot. Now, why would that be the case? Well, you got to think back to what a grapevine looks like in its natural habitat. If a cane falls over onto the ground, it actually has an ability to put a root system out where it's touching the ground from the buds. If a cane is climbing a tree, it just continues climbing from the highest bud that exists on the tree. So that's how they actually climb trees. So it's pretty interesting, but you can actually have roots or shoots come out of buds. Back to this picture. This picture shows a bunch of little shoots coming out of spurs. These shoots have grown from a bud, each one, and they're the new growth for the year. A leaf? Well, it's a leaf. If you don't know what a leaf is, I'm not sure I can help you in this course. I will tell you that leaves collect sunlight and transform it into sugar and energy for the plant. That is how sugar makes its way into grapes and grapes become so sweet. Here's a picture of a grapevine flower. The flower is located at the base of the shoot and is the early form of the grape cluster. A fruit cluster is a flower that's been pollinated and fertilized, producing seeds, that are wrapped in a pleasant, delicious fruit. I'll now go over how a vineyard is set up. Keep in mind, this is not how vineyards are done everywhere, but we'll get to that at the end of this section. When you think of California or Bordeaux, this is generally the setup. A vineyard is laid out in rows, usually oriented north to south, and this is for optimum and even sun exposure all day. If not north to south, 
then the roads are usually oriented along the contours of the land, like a heavy slope, to avoid excessive erosion. Now grapevines are perennials, and a perennial is a plant that lives for more than two years. And the vines are permanent, hopefully, in the vineyard once planted. A vine can actually live for hundreds of years. Fun fact, the oldest vine that we know of is the 400-year-old Zametovka vine in Maribor, Slovenia. Now, on to a year in the vineyard. Remember, most of this lecture will be defining keywords, so remember to take some notes.